Hey, it's Coach Tim here. It's uh, January the 22nd. It's Monday. It's a new cycle. So if you haven't seen our new cycle video, head on over to Facebook and check it out. If you're not on Facebook, uh, you're not missing anything. It's fine. <laughs> we're going to back squat on Mondays. And uh, what we're doing at the end of this cycle, so week seven, this back squat cycle, we'll go for a one rep max. And the way we're going to get there is kind of the way we've been trying to get there, which is... You know, it's a form of progressive overload. Um, we do ramp, um, and we just don't give you percentages. So we're going to continue to do that, and we'll just say to you, feel, let feel dictate load. Um, which means that on a day like today, 5, 3, 3, 2, 1, you could go for a, a PR. And that really goes right with that saying of let feel dictate load, because maybe the feel today is really good. Maybe uh, the stars have aligned. I mean, keep in mind... Even when we're not back squatting, we're doing a lot of things that require legs and squatting. So as you're still continuing to gain strength even when we're not squatting from the rack. You may be feeling really good when you go for that back squat today. And as a result, some people might end up getting a PR. And I just want to say it's never the expectation. It's not even the expectation that you would push that hard in week one of the cycle. It's just that some people might and we're not going to stop them. Um, we're just going to make sure technique looks good and that uh, you know, that all of the right conditions are being met in order to lift the challenging weight on a Monday. Um, I'm not going for PR, not even close. So I'm not going to try. Uh, I just like the value of squatting. And I want you guys to all know that we don't need to be hitting maximal weights in order for there to be value in squatting. And I think most people know that. Um, now, I'm doing this video because in a previous video, I mentioned, hey, we're going to be doing some open workouts, some, some select open workouts, some fun ones, but that it's really hard for us to program certain types of open workouts, those being one, the kinds that are like earn your next few rounds. Like if you don't get X amount of work done by minute four, then you're done. We don't like those. That's tough, very disqualifying. It's, it's hard to make that work for everyone. But then there's workouts like this one. Um that have a have multiple parts so multiple parts is easier than changing plates in the middle of a lot which is not what this is so hear me out this is a two-part open workout that originally happened 2018 week two so this is back when the open was five weeks long if you don't even know what the open is don't worry about it when i say it just this is fitness this is the kind of thing we'd be doing on a monday anyway but this particular workout is uh it's it's it goes like this the 12 minute cap the running clock of 12 minutes applies to both parts meaning both parts combined you have to finish part one with in less than 12 minutes in order to get to part two but how quickly you finish part one determines how much time you have for part two it makes sense so if you finish in eight minutes then you got four minutes left to finish part two what are those parts well part one is just a regular couplet the kind you would see on any Monday. Highly intense, but the movements are uh, dumbbell squats. That's a pair of dumbbells squatting with them. How do you hold them? Most people are going to hold them up here. Front rack. That's the best idea. Um, and then the other movement is bar facing burpee. So the number, the rep scheme is 1 through 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You do one dumbbell squat. You put those things down. You do a bar facing burpee. You do two dumbbell squats, you put those down, you do two bar facing burpees. And that's the way it goes. But why do you have that barbell out? Well, because part two is with whatever time you have remaining, go ahead and hit a heavy clean. And that can be power. Most people should, I mean, we talked a lot about this last cycle. Most people should want that to be squat because it means they've achieved this sort of technique version where they're only going to be able to catch certain weights if it's in a squat. But we'll accept power clean weights today. And it'll be the kind of workout where we'll put two scores on the board. You'll put your time for the part one, and then we'll put your weight for part two. Great workout. Um, now, here's the difference between a random Monday and if this were the open. If this were the open, you'd spend a lot of time warming up that clean before starting the workout, wouldn't you? You would. Um, we're not going to have that kind of time today, but we will warm up the clean. And the way we're going to do it is this. Uh, this is for coaches too. We are in week one of a back squat cycle, which means we need to practice bailing back squats. So there are going to be times where we want, on purpose, the barbell while you're back squatting to be on the floor. Give it a couple attempts at um, at bailing while you're warming up and while you're while you're ramping. So 
I want a couple of uh, bail practices today and then clean that barbell so you're getting that clean warm up in as well. And then even when you're done bailing practice, stand up some back squats, put the barbell back on the rack, front rack it, drop it to the floor and then clean it. And that'll be part of how we warm up today. Because eventually you're going to get to a loading on that barbell where you can't clean it anymore. Now it's just a back squat weight. But we're going to use every, we're going to be as efficient as possible today. This is week one of the cycle. This is not a gung-ho back squat day where we need to be, oh my God, uh, these cleans are really, are really hurting my ability to lift heavy today. It's not that kind of day. So use that time clean it a few times, feel good going into the wad. And then we should still even have time after the back squats for you to, you know, pick a few weights up. But just know that this open workout, the intent is not to PR your clean. You can't. It was never the point. I remember this from when I did it back in 2018. You're not going to get anywhere close to your one rep max clean. You might get kind of close, but just remember you've just done this highly intense open uh open couplet so the point is just to score a heavy clean not to score your lifetime best clean um and that's the way it goes so let's just be safe let's have fun with it and remember the wad ends in 12 minutes for everyone so there could be some people today who don't finish the first part in 12 minutes and so don't get to clean. We don't want that to happen. We want everyone to modify correctly to get there, but we'd rather you modify the loading and not any of the volume. All right, so it's the squat that's gonna hurt us and not the burpees. That's the hope that you can, this is a small enough amount of burpees that we're gonna get that done in like under 12 minutes. All right, that's the hope. And then the other thing is, logistics sake, I'm really only looking at myself here for a big 530 class. We might not have enough pairs of dumbbells to go around. So some of us are going to end up using kettlebells and we need to be okay with that. This isn't the open. If it were, we'd do heats and everybody would get the equipment that they want. So just know, like, I'd like, we need to have a really good attitude about that. It's fine. Right? It's absolutely fine. Um, and if you have any questions, let us know. And if, you know, if there are people who have issues with the, the logistics and the, the inventory of dumbbells, please make sure you talk to me about it. All right, guys, enjoy.